Right now, we are privileged to have the boss man himself, CEO Brian France, coming to join us. Brian, thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with us. We know this is a busy time of the year from you, but we, we certainly appreciate you coming by. Well, I always like this is a tradition now, and, and, and you just said it, being in South Florida for our finale, uh, I can't think of a better place to crown a champion, and we'll do it today. And, and what a thing we are looking at, Brian. What a piece of history yeah. in all of sports. One of the most difficult championships to win anywhere is in NASCAR because of the length of the season, the teamwork that's necessary, and we're about to see a guy potentially make four in a row. Yeah, it's historic. It's going to be historic either way. If, uh, if for some reason he's not able to achieve that, Martin, Martin would be the oldest champion. Uh, Rick Hendrick's going to tie Richard Petty with nine either way. But what Jimmy Johnson's been able to do in anywhere in sports is just phenomenal. And you have to give him a lot of credit in that whole team. You know, Brian, I want to get to the thing. You guys made some stuff this year. It's pretty interesting. Double file restarts. You know, now you're going to have set times next year. What's some more things on the horizon for the fans that we can look forward to? You know, what we do is we've got our fan council, which we talk to 9,000 or rather 12,000 fans every week about a variety of things. And it's really neat to hear but it's the interaction that we have and what they want. And what they want is, you know, the great racing that we've always been able to provide. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to continue to do that. Obviously, we have a new car coming out with... The, the nationwide series uh, it's a good-looking car we think it's going to race well all those things but we you know and the, it, we're really trying to help the teams right now with the, the economy and the way it is uh, try to make sure that they're as well funded as possible that the competition on the track uh, is uh, at a level or exceeds the level that people expect and that's what we'll be working on the offseason are there things we can do uh, with the car or the or formats to make great racing even better and that's that's our that's always our goal but it, it's certainly a, a, a paramount goal today Brian I think everybody knows by now that I represent the nationwide series and, and that, that new nationwide car that we're gonna run next year is getting rave reviews by Sprint Cup drivers nationwide drivers do we see some things coming from this car over to the Sprint Cup Series maybe in a couple, two, three years? I don't know. We're going to have to see. They're obviously different cars, but, uh, uh, but and, you know, it's it, like anything new, it takes a little time for, you know, teams and drivers to get uh, fully, fully uh, comfortable with something. And that's been the case with uh, in the Sprint Cup with the new car, the COT car. But that's all behind us because, you know, most of the teams are up to speed. They understand what they're doing. And, we're getting all the other benefits that we hoped, and and so we'll see if there's some things that we pick up. Uh, we're going to do some uh, different testing. We'll be looking at the the uh, you know the rules packages going into Daytona. We always learn a lot coming out the final race in Talladega, which we did, and so uh, the the whole thing for us is you know listen to our fans and. Uh, you know, trying to put the best racing in the world forward. I'm, I'm just so excited about finally we're getting a Hall of Fame. Your grandpa, your dad. Uh, were inducted plus three other drivers junior and, and Dale and Richard that has to be a pretty big honor for NASCAR to finally get a Hall of Fame you know what was really neat <clears throat> was we had the uh, inductee group the, the, uh, which was uh, 50 some odd historians of the sport former drivers uh, junior Johnson those kind of people all in the room debating uh, you know what 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 some of the uh, potential Hall of Fame inductees were going to be who were they, who were they going to be and that three or four hours, which we did about a month ago, uh, was really neat. The pu pulling all the, uh, the past and the historic people that have made this sport. Uh, now the, the Hall of Fame will now be, that'll, that'll display everything. That'll put everything uh, for people to see. So we're really excited. It'll open in May, and uh, that'll be another nice piece for this sport. You know, tomorrow morning, uh, a lot of people are going to go back to work, you included. What gets you motivated? What gets me motivated is, is, is keeping, uh, you know, we've got so many stakeholders in the sport that we're trying to keep uh, uh, satisfied. Uh, that's always tough. Our, and, but, but really, to, to, to keep working on the racing product with our competition group uh, to make it better in the, in the offseason, uh, working with our teams across all four national divisions and, and our regional and local stuff as well, just trying to make sure that we're doing everything we can in light of all the things that are going on around us uh, to continue to put the, the best racing product that we can on the track. Hey, Brian, when there's a lot of negative news to report, sometimes the facts are a casualty. And yeah. if you look at the facts, take the worst of NASCAR, take yeah. the worst that's gone on in NASCAR uh, the last couple years. 
the worst you can find is something that's down about 20%. If anybody looks <coughs> around society at large, you can find a ton of stuff right. that's down 50% or greater. I think maybe if you look at those facts, the rumor of NASCAR's demise was greatly exaggerated at this time last year. Well, look, we've been around for 60 years and we've seen our, our share of turns and twists and ups and downs. And this sport has got the best fans in the world. We know that. They have high expectations that, that, the, that what they see out there is, is, is the best it can be. We understand that and uh, you're right, every, every weekend it's 100,000 people on a given weekend or more. Usually uh, one of the most watched sporting events of the weekend. We got a lot to be proud of, even, even if it's uh, taking a turn here or there. Brian, in two <coughs> months, we'll be going to the Daytona 500. I love the Daytona 500, but we just came from Talladega where we've seen Ryan Newman's car start flipping. What's going on at NASCAR in, in the safety department? Have you heard anything? They're trying to make, make that car sit back down and not, and not continue in the air. Yeah, we certainly uh, are concerned. And, and, and any time a car gets airborne and, and the roof flaps and other aero uh, pieces on the car uh, don't perform, they perform correctly, but it still doesn't work. Obviously, we're, uh, we're going to sort that out. We test it on Monday and Tuesday awesome. uh, right after that. So we, we always learn a lot out of a Talladega event in October on our way into February. Daytona, baby! Yep. I Daytona. love it! Man, there's nothing like it. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much for your right, time. You we guys. certainly okay. appreciate you thank coming you. out here. We know yes. the fans appreciate it. All right. And we're looking forward to it.